and action. And this is A and B Combos Wrestling, Wrestling Edition. Edition. <laughs> That's why I was like, wait, I don't talk first. <laughs> That's right, you don't talk first. See, the man, wait. Welcome everyone to A and B Combos Wrestling, Wrestling Edition. Edition. It has been uh, quite the week. Something out of a movie. Something out of a movie. Um, Z Nation, what was that Brad Pitt one? Contagion is like the one everyone's really comparing it to. We're gonna give you a little bit of an idea of what's going on where we are. Are you ready? <sighs> ready. Three, two, one. She's ready to. Oh, she was barking for us. And one. Oh. Arriba! Wait, what? What are you doing? I am prepared for the coronavirus. No! That's not what's going on here. The, I, we said we're gonna show them the masks. Babe, that's not the kind of mask that's gonna protect you. It doesn't, your mouth is wide open and like, you gonna walk around like, no. Uh, People are walking around here in masks. People have gloves. I've seen people with goggles and like stuff draped over their clothing. Full hazmat suits, 99 cent store bags. They've got cut up water bottles. Put it. Do you feel in charge? <laughs> <laughs> I guess the coronavirus does. Coronavirus has hit the world. It is officially a pandemic and it has hit right here at the heart of AB Combos Wrestling Edition. By that we mean professional wrestling. Before we get into that, let's back up a little bit because as you know, we just had a pay-per-view, Elimination Chamber, and uh, guess who finally showed up? Who? 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 Somebody uh, I think watches our show. Miss Shayna Baszler. Yeah, hmm. because she stepped it up. Stepped it up. Mm. However, however, I didn't really love the women's elimination card to begin with. You had all three members of the Riot Squad. Right. To me, that's kind of weak sauce, but that's fine. You got a little few thing going on. But how was it that Shayna comes in here and just rips through the competition? like that and just standing around in the middle of the ring just yeah that that was awkward as i don't know what i mean i understand that you have rules but if you feel like you need to stick to the rules then you need to plan that accordingly and yeah you could have her get rid of the competition right before the next person but not so before that we're just watching her pace back and forth awkwardly not fighting, not doing anything, like, nobody wants to see that. No good, no good. We want to see that time click away, and she's right. sitting in the ring with somebody else, and then another participant comes in. What makes you that much more of a bad <laughs> pardon my language, is that you're able to fend off multiple opponents at the same time. But that just didn't happen. She just choked some people out and was just, hey, hey, look at me. And even if they wanted to do the one by one thing to show how bad she is, I think it would have been so cool if they would have timed it in a way where she, because you hear it counting down, like when it hits 10, then she puts the opponent in the sleeper and she put them to sleep as it hits zero on everyone and then the next person came in, at least that would have looked really cool. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. What didn't look really cool was Asuka. We just talked about how much we like the Kabuki Warriors. We love them on Monday Night Raw. Asuka is a much better in-ring technician than we saw, I feel, at yeah. Elimination Chamber. And I really thought she was going to give Shayna a run for her money. Yeah, it was almost like we talked about how Shayna had been dumbing it down and taking it easy. And in that situation, you feel like Asuka needs to dumb it down for Shayna. But if Shayna kicked it up, then you could have 
been your genuine fighter self, which would have made the win way more special than it was. And Oscar was talking all kinds of mess right. in, in two different languages inside right. that chamber. I'm not scared, like oh. and we were waiting. I, I was, I was, like, I was oh. waiting for it, and it didn't really go down. But overall, elimination chamber wasn't bad. Again, right. it was building up to WrestleMania, which kind of continued on Monday Night Raw, which we saw AJ Styles. Uh, cut a very nice promo, got kind of real, mm -hmm. got kind of real, really kind of called out uh, yeah. The Undertaker by his real name. Right. Well, nobody was invested, and you weren't even feeling connected to that in any way. And then when he got personal, it almost made you feel like, oh, maybe there's some beef on the back end that he's calling out people personally by name, talking about your wife. You don't really do that. So then I was like, oh, okay, well... At least they make us feel that the feud is realer than we felt last week. And I do like the personal component that they have with Edge and Randy Orton right. that also brings in Beth Phoenix. Uh, really dig that. Really Great. dig that. Great. And uh, Edge, well, he, he <laughs> went off the edge and off the rails and we had an old school concerto. It's been a long time since I've said that. But here's the thing. When we talk about Monday Night Raw as the coronavirus, COVID-19. Pew, 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 You know, it's coming at you fast and oh. I'm curious. It has changed things. It has changed the It's changed game. our world. Uh, yeah. Yeah. As you know, Vince McMahon has brought back the XFL. And it actually has been pretty decent. And that is now canceled. NBA is canceled. The WWE is going to be having SmackDown Live, live, but without a live studio audience. They're moving into the Performance Center in Orlando, and only essential personnel will be in attendance. There's no way they're not doing the same thing with Raw. There's no way WrestleMania is going to happen in front of a live audience. There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that. I mean, it's the grandest stage of them all. Okay, this is something that superstars prepare for their entire lives. All of these shows that lead up to the biggest show of the year, mm -hmm. WrestleMania, and WrestleMania may not even happen. Now, the WWE did release a statement. They said that they do have contingency plans in place in case the show is canceled. I still think there is a possibility that they may have the show just on a, a smaller scale. But okay. then again, you gotta ask yourself, Superstars travel all over the world, and now the NBA has been canceled. They canceled the season because one player, now two, has tested positive for this coronavirus. So who's to say at some point that your WWE superstars won't in fact test positive? It's not just the audience, it's the performers themselves. So I don't know, this has long-reaching ramifications pretty much across the board, even with AEW. And that is key because if, in fact, any of them come down with, with the coronavirus. Coronavirus. Beep, 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 beep. All of them have to be quarantined for two weeks. They have to be, right? They can't just go, well, we have a show to do. So if any of them come down, WrestleMania is off. That's what I think. We, we've seen horrific, horrific accidents that happened in the ring with performers and the show went on. So that's kind of what professional wrestling is. All the wrestlers know this, that the show goes on. However, this is unlike anything the world has ever seen, including the WWE. So I'm a little heartbroken if WrestleMania does not in fact take place. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know. It can at this point if Disneyland is shutting down for the rest of the month? You know it just got real, because they shut down for nothing. I mean, people have died at Disneyland, and they just shut off Oh, that boy! Go to the left! <laughs> Nothing to see here! <laughs> That's not funny. I mean, it's not funny. We are not making fun of any of those, nor are we making fun of the coronavirus. You have to understand, this is not funny. But what we do is trying to lighten things up when things are heavy. So we wanted to come to you, let you know, we understand what you're going through and we understand how it's affecting the WWE universe. Um, and we're here with you and we will keep on top of this. And, and you need some entertainment. You're quarantined anyway. Hey, 
Check us out. A and B combos. Hey, my friend. Uh, check out the latest one. Uh, lifting A is a B. You love it. And if you are quarantined with the coronavirus and you're stuck in the house for two weeks and you comment on our video that you need entertainment for two weeks, we'll film a little something for you every day. Oh it doesn't have to be a big show, but we could just upload a little something every day. <laughs> we can't, we can't commit. Cut it. Can we, yes, we can. Let's cut it. Yes, Thanks for can. watching AB Combos Wrestling Edition. <laughs> we'll see you down the road. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Cut. Cut.